Welcome to our channel Advantage. Learning made easy. This video discusses Chapter 8 of Module 5 that is Currency Convertibility. So let us begin. The contents of this chapter are 1. Introduction 2. Need for foreign exchange 3. Instruments of international payments 4. Foreign exchange market participants 5 functions of foreign exchange market 6 transactions in foreign exchange market 7 determination of forex rate 8 exchange rate system introduction currency convertibility is essential if multilateral trade is to be developed a currency is said to be convertible when it can be readily exchanged for other currencies. Types There are two types of currencies. Convertible and controlled. There are two types of currency convertibility. Partial convertibility. Currency is convertible on current account transactions. Full convertibility. Currency is convertible on current and capital account transactions. The balance of payment of a country comprises of two main accounts. Current account and capital account. The current account is further divided into two. 1. Trade or merchandise or visible account which consists of import or export of goods. 2. Tertiary or service or invisible account which comprises of services which are further divided into a. Individual professional services like teachers, doctors, etc. and B. Institutional services like banking, insurance, etc. The current account also includes a unilateral receipts or payments that is gifts donations received and given. The capital account is divided into three. Short-term capital movements. Which includes buying or selling of government securities of maturity up to one year. Long-term capital movements which includes purchase or sell of shares and debentures as portfolio investment. Repayment of loans. It consists of loans taken from developed countries and international institutions. Prerequisites of convertibility. 1. Domestic stability of an economy. 2. Comfortable current account position of balance of payment position. 3. Appropriate industrial and investment policies. 4. Import essential commodities. 5. Export oriented development planning. 6. Stock of foreign exchange reserves. Merits of convertibility 1. Hawala market gets inactive. 2. Import substitution and export promotion. 3. Incentive to non-resident Indian to remit funds. 4. Assigns real value to foreign currency. 5. Encourages exports. Convertibility of Indian Rupee. The history of convertibility of Indian Rupee is as under. Capital Account Convertibility, CAC, of the Indian Rupee. Definition. CAC refers to the freedom to convert local financial asset into foreign financial assets and vice versa at market determine rates of exchange. Advantages Availability of larger capital stock to supplement the domestic resources and leads to improved access to international financial market. Allows residents to hold an internationally diversified portfolio investment which reduces the vulnerabilities of income streams and wealth. Qualities of financial assets improves due to greater liquidity and widening of the market. Suggestions The Committee on CAC recommended Removing market segmentation Uniform treatment of resident and non-resident liabilities for purposes of reserve requirements Improving a risk management system Introduction of more stringent capital adequacy standards and effective supervisory system Greater autonomy for banks and financial institution. Precondition. The Committee on CAC recommended some preconditions for CAC which include 
fiscal consolidation, mandated inflation rate, strengthening of financial system, adequacy of foreign exchange reserves, good foreign exchange rate policy and a sound balance of payment position. Foreign Exchange Reserves Why do we need foreign exchange reserve? Just as an individual has to be in a position to pay his debts, in the same way, every nation has to pay for the imports of goods and services. To settle the international obligation a nation must have adequate foreign exchange reserves. In order to accumulate foreign exchange reserves a nation must earn foreign exchange by exporting goods and services. Further. International liquidity is a broad term which encompasses foreign exchange reserves. In other words foreign exchange reserves is a part and parcel of international liquidity. Objectives of holding foreign exchange reserves Maintenance of confidence So as to maintain confidence of people on the nation's currency, a monetary authority has to keep certain minimum amount of foreign exchange facilitate the intervention of central bank. To minimize erratic fluctuations in the foreign exchange rate, the central bank has to intervene in the foreign exchange market and to do so it must keep sufficient amount of foreign exchange reserves. Curb the speculative tendency. The speculators create instability in the country, to avoid the speculation, the central bank used the foreign exchange reserves. Spreading confidence in the foreign exchange market. The fact that central bank possess a comfortable surplus of foreign exchange reserve spreads confidence in the foreign exchange market and brings stability. Composition of international reserves include Gold reserves Earlier gold was primary medium of international reserve. Gold was also an international unit of account in terms of which each member country was defined. Key currency reserves as Bretton Woods' system evolved, the reserves assets other than gold started assuming more importance. Under IMF system, US dollar was convertible into gold and other member currencies were convertible into US dollar. As the volume of dollar holding of foreigners increased, the ability of USA to maintain convertibility of dollar into gold became doubtful. In August 1971, dollar crises reached at a stage that demanded immediate action. As a result, convertibility of dollar into gold was suspended with certain other measures. The reserve position of IMF can be determined by each member country's contribution to IMF in terms of fixed quota. Each member country's quota is fixed on the following grounds. 2% of national income. 5% of gold and dollar reserves. 10% of average annual imports. 10% of minimum variation in annual exports. The sum of 1 to 4 increased by the percentage ratios of average annual exports of national income. The quotas of all the member countries taken together determine the major financial resources of the fund. Each member country is required to subscribe its quota, partly in gold and partly in its own currency. Each member country must contribute gold equal to 25% of its quota, 10% of its gold stock and US dollar holdings, whichever is less. The portion of subscription paid in nation's currency is deposited in nation's central bank on behalf of IMF. Thus, IMF gets a pool of foreign currencies. The quotas are reviewed every five years and adjusted from time to time by the fund. Gold Reserves Trench 25% of member countries quota held by IMF. It can be drawn by each member country as matter of right. It is regarded as member countries owned reserves and its drawing cannot be derived by IMF. Reserve Trench Each member country has a reserve trench position in IMF to the extent that its quota exceeds the IMF's holdings of its currency in the general resources account excluding holding arising out of purchases under all policies on the use of the IMF's general resources. A member may purchase up to the full amount of its reserve tranche at any time, subject to the requirement of balance of payment needs. 
A reserve tranche purchase does not constitute a use of IMF credit and is not subject to changes or obligation to repurchase. Special Drawing Rights Why and how were special drawing rights introduced? It was strongly felt that there should be an extra source of international reserves other than gold and dollar to cater to the growing need of international liquidity to finance the balance of payments deficits and other international financial obligations. Periodically the quota subscriptions of the member countries were revised. General Arrangements to Borrow GAB, and bilateral swap agreements were devices used by the fund but none of these devices could solve the problem. Hence the problem of international reserves required a new and innovative approach to be termed as Special Drawing Rights SDRs. How do Special Drawing Rights SDRs, work? A member country say country X. Having the need to use SDRs towards balance of payment deficit. Can approach the IMF for supply of the required foreign exchange. The IMF designates members to provide the foreign exchange. In exchange for the SDRs on the basis of strength of its balance of payments and reserve position. Additional points to be considered are. SDR is only a book entry in the special drawing account of IMF. SDRs confers right to obtain defined equivalent in foreign exchange from other member countries of IMF. There is no need to furnish adequate collateral security. When SDRs are issued to a member country its account gets credited and it can be freely used by the creditor country to meet its balance of payment deficits. What are special drawing rights, used for? SDRs are used for a variety of transactions such as to obtain currency and transactions through agreement with other members, without any requirement for balance of payment deficit, for swap arrangements, in forward operations, to make loans of SDRs, for donations, grants, etc., as security for the performance of financial obligations in either of the two ways. Members may pledge SDRs which is recorded in special register kept in the IMF. SDRs may be used by members as security against performance of obligation, after the obligation is over the SDRs are returned to the transferor. The SDRs are also used as a unit of account of IMF. Exchange Risk Exchange rate means the rate at which the currency is exchanged for another currency may be volatile and the amount that an exporter receives in domestic currency or an importer has to pay in terms of domestic currency. Features Exchange rate always fluctuates due to stronger or weaker of currency. Exchange rate always are affected from balance of payment and trade, interest rate, inflation rate, economic growth and fiscal and monetary policies and political issues types of risk. 1. Credit risk of customer. A risk that borrower may fail to make payments. 2. Country risk. Risk that country would fail to make payments due to its economic or political policies. 3. Currency risk. A risk that may arise due to fluctuation in foreign exchange rate. 4. Market risk. A risk that may arise due to change of government policies financial markets, etc. Global Linkage of Forex Market The foreign exchange market is where currency trading takes place. Foreign exchange transactions typically involve one party purchasing a quantity of one currency in exchange for paying a quantity for another. 1. Market Size and Liquidity 2. Market Participants 3. Trading Characteristics Four. Determinants of exchange rates. 5. Algorithmic trading in foreign exchange. 6. Financial instruments. Market size and liquidity. The foreign exchange market is unique because of 1. Trading volumes. 2. Extreme liquidity. 3. Geographical dispersion. 4. Long trading hours. 5. Variety of factors. 6. Low margins of profits. 7. Use of leverage.
the foreign exchange market is divided into levels of access. The market participants are 1. Banks 2. Commercial companies 3. Central banks 4. Hedge funds as speculators 5. Investment management firms 6. Foreign exchange brokers 7. Non-bank foreign companies and 8. Money transfer companies Trading characteristics 1. No unified or centrally cleared market 2. Number of interconnected marketplaces 3. No single exchange rate 4. Participation of banks throughout the world 5. Currency trading throughout the day Determinants of exchange rates 1. Economic factors a. Economic policy, given by government and central banks b. Economic conditions, revealed through reports 2. Political conditions Internal, regional and international political conditions 3. Market psychology Algorithmic trading in foreign exchange Algorithmic trading is a method of executing orders using automated pre-programmed trading instructions accounting for variables such as time, price, and volume to send small slices of the order, child orders, out to the market over time. They were developed so that traders do not need to constantly watch a stock and repeatedly send those slices out manually. Financial Instruments 1. Spot Direct exchange between two currencies. 2. Forward. Money does not get exchange until agreed upon a future date. 3. Future. Exchange traded forward transactions with standard sized and maturity dates. 4. Swap. Exchange of currencies for certain time and then reversing at later date. 5. Option. Owner has the right but not the obligation to exchange. 6. Exchange Traded Fund Open-ended investment companies 7. Speculation Transfer of Risk in Market Thank you for watching our video. Stay awaited for our next video and please subscribe to our channel Advantage.